was driving the cement lorry to the building site. And Doug was keeping a careful watch behind to make sure that the big barrel on the back that was full of cement kept on turning. Still turning, said Dig. Still turning, said Doug. When they arrived, Mr. Rubble was already waiting. These are the plans, he said. They tell you where to put the foundations. Right, said Doug. Don't lose them, or we'll be in a terrible mess, he said. And he left them to it. Uh, what are the foundations, Doug? Well, you dig a hole, fill it with cement, and build on it. Now then, said Doug, where does it say we start digging? What about down here, said Dig. No, said Doug, that's where the drains go. What about over there? No, said Dig, that's the roof, I think. Doug, said Dig. What, said Doug. We're in a bit of a muddle, aren't we? Help me spread it on the ground, said Doug. So they did. The writing's underneath, said Dig. I know it is, said Doug. I'm not stupid. Now, let's see. What's this along the bottom? Doug! Just a minute, just a minute. I'm trying to concentrate. Doug! Morning, said Mrs Sparkle. How's it going? Morning, Mrs Sparkle, said Doug. Suddenly, Dig had an idea. Much better, said Doug. We can see what we're doing now. If you start digging, Doug, I'll make sure you're in the right place. Right, said Doug. Off we go, then. Up a bit here. The next job is to fill it with cement, said Doug, admiring the hole. Can I do that? asked Dig. Come on then, and I'll show you how it works. In here is the cement, all wet and gooey. How do we get it out? asked Dig. It'll come gushing through this hose. Dig found it very interesting. So did Mrs Sparkle, as she gathered in her washing. And finally, if you turn that wheel, the cement pours out and you can point it where you want. Dig couldn't wait to start. But Doug suddenly noticed something. Mrs Sparkle's washing, he shouted. Ah, it's been stolen, said Dig. Oh, and so have Mr Rubble's plans. Dig and Doug hurried off to ask if anyone had seen anything. They tried Beth, who was doing some measuring. Then they tried Bert, the crane driver.
but there was no sign of the washing, no sign of the plans, and no one left to ask. Except Mrs Sparkle, said Dig. She wouldn't steal her own washing, said Doug. Come on, let's start the cement and hope for the best. Ready, Dig, said Doug. Ready, Doug, said Dig. Can't see anything yet. Still can't see anything. That's it! We're running now, and it's filling up fast! Just watch where you point it, that's all! Hello, Uncle Doug, called Daisy. Ooh, that looks fun, Dig. Can I have a turn? A job for experts, I'm afraid, Daisy. We're almost done. Then Dig noticed that something was wrong. Help! He shouted. I'm stuck. The cement's going hard. <laughs> it's not funny. He shouted. It's an emergency. Then Daisy had an idea which she passed on to Doug. Who passed it on to Beth? Who went to tell Bert? And before long, help was on its way. Problem dig. Having fun? said a voice suddenly. It was Mr. Rubble. At least you didn't get into a mess by losing my plans, he said. The plans? And Mrs. Sparkle's washing. Dig and Doug had almost forgotten. And just as they were about to try and explain... Excuse me, I think these are yours. Dig and Doug were so relieved, especially as Mrs Sparkle had ironed them. There we are, Mr Rubble, all present and correct. Um, said Mr Rubble. You've done something wrong here. What could be wrong now? Too much cement? The foundation's in the wrong place. That would be terrible. Where does it say we want a pair of boots in the middle? He asked. Dig had left his behind, which made everyone laugh, even Mr. Rubble. Them work to 